you should be very proud of yourself. I know I am because look at all that you've done. This quadcopter is looking fantastic. It's almost complete. All we need to do now is raise the frame, put on the top plate, the camera, the video transmitter, do a little programming, and you've got a flying quadcopter, and you're going to have a ton of fun real soon. So let's finish this right now. We need our aluminum standoffs, and we need our 6 millimeter bolts. I like to work with the magnetic parts tray because it makes working with any kind of steel parts very easy. All these parts will be easy to grab and easy to use, and they're not going to go anywhere. And just to make life easier, I'm going to put the aluminum standoffs in there as well. They're not going to stick, but it's just convenient. To attach the top plate, you're going to need a 2 millimeter hex driver. This is the easiest part of building a quadcopter. Take the bolt on your driver and a standoff, and starting with the front, put that screw in and just twirl it into the standoff tight, just like that. Take another screw, put it on the standoff, and screw it in just like that. The next four standoffs might be a little bit more of a challenge because wires may be covering the hole and we'll have to push them into the right position. Let's get into it. When looking for the next four holes for the standoff around the stack, you might have some wires covering the holes. For example, this wire may be covering that hole, this wire may be covering that hole, and here, and here, and here, and here. Just make sure that these power wires are pushed to the inside of the standoffs. And let's go simply put the screw in, grab the standoff, and put it down. Perfect. Grab another screw, put it on your driver, find the next hole, put it in, Grab your standoff and screw it down. Doing great. Coming around to the tail, grab a screw, put it on your screwdriver, find the hole, stick it in, and simply just screw that right in. It ain't rocket science. Take the standoff, put it on the thread, and ratchet that down. Last two are easy. Nothing in the way. Screw in the tip. Screw in the hole. Grab a standoff. Screw on the hex driver. Screw in the hole and just slide it right down in there. Nice. Last one. By the way, some people like to use thread lock, blue thread lock on the screw. And that would be a very good idea because you're not going to be removing these standoffs likely in the future. If you had some blue thread lock, and I would recommend using blue thread lock. I don't have it at the time. I ran out, so I'm going without. So I would recommend if you could get some blue thread lock, Put a few on the threads before you insert it in the hole and screw it down. It is unlikely you're going to be removing these uh, standoffs unless you have an accident. Make sure they're all good and tight. And there you have it. All the standoffs are in place and doesn't that look cool with the red? Don't those red standoffs look nice? And with the red motors and the red 3D parts, I think that looks outstanding. 